Hello everyone. Welcome to the fourth episode in this deep learning with PyTorch series. So after going through the very basics of how to set up a machine learning problem, then how we can, uh, what what are the motivations for you to learn deep learning? Now let's get started with uh, very basics of uh, linear and logistic regression understanding. So the idea is to uh, take you through the very basics of maths, like how the math is working for linear regression and logistic regression, which will kind of uh, set you up for the higher uh, world of deep learning, and it will give you the very basics understanding of how the derivatives are working, how the optimization is going on behind the scene for uh, linear and logistic regression, which will we will see that we are doing the similar kind of thing when we are building a neural network right now uh, yeah let's get started so uh, the first uh, part what we will do is we will uh, just spell it out how the linear regression works right uh, we will see how the math is uh, working in the uh, for the linear regression and uh, then in the next video uh, we will try to implement the linear regression from scratch using the equations which we will uh, generate in this uh, session, in this particular session, right? Okay. So in case of linear regression, right? How do we set up a linear regression, right? So in, in case of linear regression, we have uh, a input variable, so input variables, and also we have the output variable. So we have both our X and Y, right? So uh, we have our X and also we have our Y, right? So X is the feature which we are uh, uh, telling from the starting, like based on these features, your machine learning algorithm or the deep learning algorithms will learn some patterns and based on that, it will make the prediction. So prediction is here is Y. So we have input data points. Uh, so here for uh, this example, we are saying that there are around N data points which is available. Then we have model parameters which I will I will talk in detail what these are. Then we also have actual Y values. So for all the end data points, right? So this actual Y values are nothing but my labels, right? For my regression problem. So if I uh, design a housing price prediction, so my Y variable would be the price of the house, right? And X variable, if I am just uh, just modeling that on top of like number of rooms, right uh, as a variable to as an input variable to the model so that will be my x right and as we know from our uh, very massive very basic maths that a equation of a line can be expressed as y equals to mx plus c so this m is nothing but the slope of the line which is this and c is nothing but the y intercept right so this is c and uh, this is m right so this m decides how the slope of the line would be right and your c is uh, the y intercept so the example which i was giving right so based on the number of rooms uh, we will try to predict the value of my house right so it might be the case that uh, before building the number of rooms a seller wants to sell his house right so just building the basic structure right he can also sell that uh, house so uh, when the x variable or the number of room is zero what would be the price of the house right so that is the y intercept value so when my x is zero where the line is intercepting my y axis right so that is my uh, c so based on that we can design this equation of line and my parameters of uh, my model is m and c so if I have a, a certain data set, right, where my data points are like this, right? So these are like my X1, then this is X2 in that way, like we have data points still Xn, right? And our aim of this linear regression is to find the best fit line where the error, uh, error is nothing but this difference, right? So the actual value is this. And if you take uh, any particular value of X, and if you just, uh, just extend this, so this will be my predicted value, right? So my error will be this term, right? Which is the difference between uh, this value and this value, right? So similarly, we will have other errors like this value and this value, so, and this will be a, like a uh, error also. So all these errors are making at the making at the each 
individual data points level. So and some of the exam, some of the predictions will be uh, so much accurate where the error would be close to zero, right? So our aim of this algorithm is to minimize this total error, right? So each of this is kind of an error. So if this is my E1, this is another error. This is like E2 is another error till EN we will have certain errors, right? So the aim of the algorithm is to minimize uh, this error. And this, the, the values which we are getting for a certain X, the values which the model is predicting that we are calling as Y hat, right? So, so for an example, uh, for X equals to this, right? We will have a prediction corresponding to this value, right? So that's, that is nothing but my Y hat, right? So that is the error which we are trying to minimize, right? OK, so let me clear this first. OK, now uh, let's look at the error thing, right? We are talking about the error. Now let's see how we can formalize this error in terms of mathematics, right? So. Uh, error is nothing but if you if you simply take the difference of my uh, y actual uh, and y predicted. So this is my y predicted and this is my y actual, right? So the dif difference between that is my error, right? Now here, this is my predicted value, which is nothing but y hat. And this is the actual value, right? Which you can see. And the difference between them is the error. So in some of the cases, your errors would be positive and some of the cases error would be negative. So this negative can cancel out the positive values, right? So just to tackle that, we what we are doing is we are kind of square these values and that we are calling as mean squared error. Now, why, why this mean uh, comes into the picture? Because we have n data points, right? So we are calculating the error for each of the data points. Then we are doing a sum and then dividing the value by n, right? Which will give me the mean squared error. Now, as I mentioned, like our the aim of this algorithm is to minimize the this error. So how that minimization can happen, right? So the minimization will happen by tweaking the values of my model parameters, right? So model parameters are nothing but W and B. So W is similar to M, which I was talking about, and B is nothing but C, right? So we want to find out the values for W and B, which will give me the best fit line, right? So the, that best fit line will give you the minimum error, right? Which will be uh, very close to the, uh, the prediction value will be very close to the actual value, right? Now to find out those uh, best fit uh, line, we have to find out the best values for my W and B, which will give me the error as minimum as possible, right? Now, uh, if you remember uh, some basic math, so how we generally do is we take the derivative of uh, each of this parameter values with respect to the uh, my uh, loss, right? So we take the derivative of my cost function with respect to each of these parameters, right? So if I uh, take the derivative of dj by dw, so I am taking the derivative of my cost function with respect to w here, right? And you will see uh, if you just do simple math, you will get this, right? So the formula which I am using here for calculating the derivative is like this. If if I am doing a d by dx of fx to the power n, so the derivative will be according to the derivative formula would be n multiplied by fx and it would be n minus one. And then we also need to take the derivative of fx, right? So this is the formula which I am using here to calculate the derivative. Okay, so this two is coming out here, and um, and this two minus one is this value. So the power n minus one is this part, right? Then we also have to take the derivative of this whole fx, right? So this is my fx. So if I take this derivative with respect to the with respect to W, my this value is constant. My Y I is constant, so it will be zero. So we will only get minus X, right? So this will. If you take the derivative of uh, minus W X I with respect to DW, you will get minus X, right? And this is where the minus X is coming up here. 
and if, if you similarly take the derivative of uh, this loss function or the cost function along with uh, with respect to w uh, with respect to b you will get this value right so this is as similar as this uh, but we are not getting x because we need we are taking uh, derivative with respect to b so this when we are taking derivative of this this will become zero and this will give us one right as we are taking uh, derivative with respect to b right and if you simplify this this is nothing but my y hat right so i'm just taking the minus sign out here and, and the this minus will become plus and the outputs uh, the d uh, the the derivatives will look like this right these two values and these two are nothing but my dw and db so this dw and db is the derivatives which we need to calculate for doing the optimization right now let's go and see like how the optimization works here so the the algorithm which we are using here to do the optimization is gradient descent which will give us the optimal model parameters so the model parameters for us is uh, w and b right we are trying to find the best values for w and b so that my model error is as minimum as possible right so if i plot my cost function, which is nothing but uh, for this example, I am just taking J W, right? So cost function with respect to W. And if I'm uh, plotting the W value, which is nothing but the uh, model parameter value in the X axis. And if you plot this, the function will look like this, which is kind of a nice convex function, right? And here the global minima is present. So this global minima means where my cost is minimum, right? Here you will see the cost will be like this for this value of W, right? So with this value of W, we will get the minimum cost. So our aim is to find uh, the uh, optimal value of W, which will minimize the cost. So initially we start with random values or with in case of linear regression, we can also start with initializing this with zero or with random values. Then we calculate uh, what is my cost and based on that we uh, do these two operations, right? So we what we are doing is we are using we are updating the values of W and B. So it is like the previous iteration W value minus this is alpha is nothing but learning rate times the DW which we calculated in the last slide. Right. So similarly, we can update the values of B uh, using the DB value, which we calculated in the last uh, slide. Now for an example, say my uh, W value is quite high, right? So my W value is uh, this. So with that, if I just do a plot, so my cost would be also very high, which is in, in this region, right? And now if I take a derivative here, so the derivative will be a positive derivative. So DW would be a positive value, right? Now, if I add this, if I uh, just replace my DW here, you will see this will be W minus learning rate times DW only, right? So you, the value of current W will get decreased and new W we will get, right? And if the value for W is like this here, in this region, then my W is so if I take the derivative of my uh, DW, it will be my DW will be a negative value here, right? So this negative value, if I replace here, so we will increase the W. So if I so it will be like plus learning rate times DW, right? So you will move in this direction and you will try to find out this value of W, which will minimize the cost. Right, I hope this is clear. So if I if I start with a W of uh, initialization of a W value, which is kind of very high like this, then my uh, DW will be a positive value. So we will decrease the value of W. And if I start with a W, which is like lies here, then we will take a derivative, which will give me the DW as negative, and that will reduce the value of DW, right? And we will try to uh, move towards the value of W where my cost is minimum, right? So similarly, we can do the same operations for other model parameter, which is for DB. 
So this alpha is learning rate, right? So this learning rate means how bigger steps we are taking when moving to the global minima, right? So if I start from here, so the step which I am taking at each iteration, right? So this is one step, right? So if you are taking a W, if you are taking a learning rate, which is like a very high, right? Then you will take very larger steps, right? Like this. And if you are taking very slow, uh, very low value of alpha, then you will take very small steps to reach the global minima, right? So uh, based on this uh, value of my alpha, alpha, then my steps steps will be decided and uh, the convergence speed will also be decided based on the values of alpha. So we wanted if you take very uh, low value of alpha, we will take very small steps and the convergence will take longer time, right? We will take baby steps like very small steps, which will take long time to reach the global minima. But if we in case we are uh, initializing the learning rate as very high value, then it can happen that we will uh, start oscillating between this uh, convex function, right? So we will miss the global minima, which is kind of lies here, and we will start oscillating like this, and we will never reach uh, the global minima, right? So our uh, uh, the this is kind of a hyperparameter which we generally tune. So our job is to just find the right value of alpha, which will kind of give you, uh, which will kind of take you to the global minima in in uh, minimum steps, right? So this is the very uh, basic concept of gradient descent, which we uh, we will also use in case of uh, neural network. Now, uh, just just let's go through the steps in linear regression, right? So we initialize the uh, weights and biases with random values, or we can, in case of linear regression, we start with the initialization of zero. Then, given an input, we will make predictions using the equation of this uh, equation of line, which will give us y hat. And using that y hat, we will calculate the error, right? Which is nothing but y hat minus y whole square divided by the number of training examples, right? Then we will calculate the derivatives, which are like my DW and DB. And once we calculate the derivatives, we will use the gradient descent algorithms uh, algorithm to update the weights, right? Which was previously initialized during these steps, right? So we initialize the weights only once and we do uh, weight updates multiple times. Right, and we will repeat this process. So all these steps which I mentioned here. So this, these are the steps we need to repeat till we reach a certain number of steps, or we till the error is reduced to a satisfactory level. Right. So we will uh, keep on repeating these three steps till we reach the global minima, or we kind of reduce, uh, or we do a certain number of predefined steps. Right. So uh, this is the very uh, uh, this is the thing which I wanted to cover in this session, like the math behind this linear regression, which is very important for you to understand if you want to work with the deep deep, uh, deep learning models. So in the in the next session, using the equations which we got, we will try to implement the linear regression from scratch using Python. Yeah. So yeah, thank you all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.